What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. Link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I put it up. Thanks everybody for su supporting. This video, though, video is entitled Female Hobosexuals. So there was an article on Vice. I got it from uh, Dr. T. Hassan Johnson's page. But coupled with the article that I read a couple of days ago, about a, a third of women in, in, in Houston went on dates for free food. It's got to be talked about. I've talked about male hobosexuals, uh, but female hobosexuals, not so much. And I've seen this for years. This article just kind of made me think about it, so that's why the topic. There are three types that I've come across. One is the princess. The, the woman who got raised by her family. She got raised... You know, they did everything for her. They looked out for her. They were a great support system, but they crippled her. You know, the one that went that went to that went to college and they gave her the car and they paid for the apartment and they have it took a, had money to take her shopping and they spoiled and they threw a party when she graduated. And as an adult, they still to a degree subsidized her life and made her bad a uh, bad financially. You know, the one they used to say stuff like, you know. My family, you're going to have to treat me better than a man's going to have to do more for me than my, my dad and my family, you know, or, or the, the dad and the family realize they put a guy who's dating her in a bad position because she's too spoiled. She really doesn't understand what it takes to actually um, put her in a position that she's in. She's ungrateful. So after a while, the family get tired of her. The family get tired of giving her money. The family get tired of giving her gifts. And she's a princess, so she goes out into society. And to a degree, when she's young, it looks like she has high standards. But it's not that she has high standards, it's that she's spoiled. And, you know, I remember so many ladies who were on that kick. Yeah, I'm spoiled. Yeah, I get I get everything I want. You know, I, you know I'm used to getting what I want. They wind up being female hobosexuals. And the reason why they wind up being female, female hobosexuals is because they always took financial shortcuts. Because they're spoiled. You know, some of these women save their money. Don't get it twisted. But a lot, of, but what they save their money for is for them to do them. So they blow their money on just ridiculous stuff. You see people with, with too much uh, makeup, too much nail polish, too much hair, too you know, too much wig, too many wigs, too many shoes, too many clothes. For the, and you're like, what are you doing? That's because everybody else has been supp supplementing her life for so long that she thinks it's going to last forever. And it doesn't. And as she gets older, less people spoil her. And it comes out of her pocket. As she gets older, less people uh, 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 want to be around her. So it comes out of her pocket. Less people want to put up the attitude so it comes out of her pocket. And then she's hit with the real realization of society. And then she can't afford to, she can't afford herself. So now she's looking for a break. You know, some of the ladies who don't want to admit that they got roommates in their late 20s and up, not because they need the female safety and camaraderie, but because they can't afford to, to be on their own. They ain't as independent as you as they once said. You know, so now she's a hobosexual. She meets a guy. She wants to be with a guy. She has a sob story for a guy. She's going through a tough time, and she just needs a man to hold her down. And truth be told, she's a hobosexual. She's bartering her sex. Part of this article did talk about like abuse and all that, this, that, and the third. So, it, it, you know, women feel like they're in unwanted relationships or bad relationships because they got no place to go. This is why I'm addressing this. They got no place to go because they burnt all their bridges because they were spoiled. Number two, time wasters. Usually, either the young, but more importantly, the attractive. You know, the young girls who... You know, they have no problems getting a man. 
they don't have no problems getting a date. As, as most women will say when they're in their early 20s, by 30, I'm going to be married. But they don't do nothing to, be, to make themselves marriage material. They just show up. Time wasters. You know, I'm pretty. You know, I don't have to do nothing. I, they, they can always depend on their looks and their youth or, or their body parts to get them over the hump. And then time keeps going by. They're not thinking nothing of it. Because I, I'm still, people still want me. I'm still hot. I'm still fine. They still messaging me. They still hit me up on my DM. Yeah, I'm losing a little confidence, but all I got to do is get on a, uh, um, what you call those, a uh, dating website, and I'm going to get hit up by 100 guys. All I got to do is post a, a picture online, and I'm going to get hit up by 100 guys. I still like I still got it. No problem. The years go by. And I'm, I'm going to put these things together. For the end, because they they end the same, basically. So years go by. Years. And they wake up one morning, and less guys calling. Less guys hitting, less guys taking them out. Now it's coming out of their pocket. You know, they want to go on trips. Now they got to do it with their girlfriends. Coming out of their pocket, right? You know, I need some help with my phone bill. You know, oh, I don't know how to fix this. Less guys coming over to even be... To be, a, to be a help of service in a friend zone for them to get cheap labor. Now they got to pay for it. Now they can't afford themselves. So now we got a problem. So now you got to find a man who's stable enough to, afford, to have a lifestyle that you would like to live. But you don't necessarily want to be with that man. You don't like that man. But you like that opportunity because it's free. So now you're in his house, his apartment, his townhouse, his apartment, his condo, as a hobosexual. We're going somewhere. The third one, the feminist, the man-hater. You know, she made the bulk of her decisions because a man can't tell me nothing. A man ain't going to control me. A man ain't going to tell me what to spend. A man ain't going to tell me what to do. A man ain't going to tell me where to shop. A man ain't going to tell me how to buy, live my life. A man ain't going to tell me that I can't spend all my money. A man ain't going to... So they spent their whole life as, as a feminist and a man-hater, and everything they did was in rebellion of men, and they didn't realize that they spent themselves into debt and oblivion. But that's a man's fault, too, for some high reason. It's not a man's fault, but they that's when I've seen them come unravel because they realize a man didn't make them do all the stuff that they did to put themselves in a position to be a hobosexual. It was their own hatred of men, and what they wind up doing is now they go hang out. Now they go with their girls. Now the girls have a covenant to take care of each other. But the problem is all of these w women in these bad positions, you got a team of losers. Everybody can't take care of each other. You, one, one of these women going to get tired of being part of the covenant. She going to find a man. She dip out. Another one. Find a man. Dip out. All the man haters and the feminists, they get tired of the toxicity of the feminists and the, and the man hate. And, you know... Everything men do is hateful, but at the same time, they 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 looking for a man to help them. So what happens? You know, it's a it, it, you know it's only a few Indians left standing, and now your girlfriends ain't gonna help you no more. Now you need now you're looking for and hoping that a man to come through. And if a man come through, you hate his guts because he's a man. I just I'm gonna give that man a hard time because he's a man because a man is not to, to let him know that I might need him for his money and his resources right now but I hate him because he's a man but and I'm not even gonna say thank you thus how this ends so these three types that I've seen have no skills whatsoever when, when interacting with a man so they want the man to to so these men meet these women, and this is part of why guys call guys simps because guys have been through this. Uh, you meet these women, you know, they got all of these standards and things that they they that they they're accustomed to, and and the things that they won't do for a man, but they living off of a man. So now, 
you want his lifestyle to be your lifestyle. And if you and if you start working or if you or if you start working again, because if you wasn't working or unemployed, if you start working, you want all your money to be your money and you don't want to do nothing for this man. And this man had your back when uh, when nobody else did. So the man go to work, he come home, he cook. The man go to work, he come home, he clean. The man go to work, he, you, you in there faking like you want to be in a relationship with him, he taking you out. And what you doing, you going to get your nails done, going to get your hair done, just on the internet all oh, doggone a lot, on the phone a lot. You're not, you're not even appreciative of not having to take care of yourself like you once did. You're not appreciative of the fact that somebody who's not your family is taking care of you. So what do you do? You don't, you just sit there and rot away and waste away and waste his time. And then it gets ugly. Because you say he's, he's mean, he's, a, he's abusive, he's verbally abusive. He's, he, you know, now you're look, looking for a sad story to make that somebody else will take you in because what you didn't say this whole time that you're a female homosexual is that you're living for free or next to free and you're still being a lazy piece of crap and a jerk because your whole life you've been lazy because you're the princess you've been lazy because you know you've been, you've been a time waster and everybody else did it because you look fine or, you, or, or sex or have you bartered your body or you've been lazy because you're a man hater and you're just not going to do it for no man So now you're a female homosexual, and then when a the guy says, okay, you can get out, then you have a nervous breakdown, because now you got to go back out into the world. And you ain't got nobody else to turn to. So now you feel like you got to bite your tongue, and it's, and it's humiliating, and it's humbling, but you don't want to be around this guy. But then again, you don't want to live on your own dime. And you should have money saved up, but you don't, because you're still doing the same thing. So... I'm tired of talking about the ladies, so I got to switch up these topics now. Like, share, subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.